nails. So this is a set of nails I did, ooh, four weeks ago now. Um, I really love doing it, but it's, yeah, Christmas went mad. I have not edited, so here we go. Um, so uh, this is one of my regular clients. I removed her previous set down to a thin clear base, done all my natural nail work, prep primed, all of that, and every single nail I'm gonna come in with a thin clear base of clear acrylic. Um, and on this hand, I'm going to be using brush shards in Rainbow Frost. And I'm just using these to create a full glitter nail. So with this set, I did four nails on each hand, full glitter, and then one a colour. So the application was pretty simple. It was more the decoration that I wanted to spend more time on. So I'm just using a bead of clear acrylic to pick up that glitter, place it on the nail and nudge it around with the tip of my brush until I'm happy with the coverage. Um, I used quite a big bead and I got a lot of glitter in one go. If you're not used to encapsulating glitter, etc., then just small beads, add a little bit at a time until you've got full coverage. And I'm going to do this with all the nails and then I'm going to cap in the clear at the end. And for the colour now, I'm using this gorgeous red, and this is called Rouge. And on the... No, I'll, I'll wait until we get to the other hand before I tell you what's on there. <laughs> and I'm using this as a design powder, so I'm just painting a thin layer on, not using it for shape and structure. And as I said, when they're all finished, I'm going to cap them all in clear acrylic, making sure all of that glitter goes nice and matte so that I know it's all encapsulated. Then moving on to the next hand, I've super sped this up and I'm using Golden Frost Frost Shards. And then on the index finger, I'm using Betty from HD Collection and this is just a black as black black. And then I'm going to cap them all in clear. And then when they're all filed in, I'm going to add my animal print. So on the red hand, I have done a tiger print design. So I'm just using HD one stroke paint. So I've watered them down a little bit and I'm using my HD precision brush. And I'm just using this to create a nice tiger print design. Um, I just kind of let it flow when I do tiger print. I just do a bit of a ziggity zaggity. Well, more of a wiggy, wiggly wobbly line. <laughs> um, uh, occasionally joining two together, so like a wobbly triangly look. 
Uh, but just keep playing until it looks right. Um, if you're ever in doubt with things like this, I always just Google like tiger print and then have a tiger print picture in front of me so I get an idea of what I'm going for. And I'm leaving little gaps because I'm going to be putting flowers on these nails too. And on the golden frost hand, I'm using a brown uh, paint. And for this, I'm going to do leopard print. So literally just splidge, splodge, 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 all over the place. And then I'll come in with a black to add detail. And I'm using that black paint just to do a bit of an outline, don't quite join it up, add little bits here and there, and then just a few little black dots in between the brown just to create that design. Then creating some very simple one stroke flowers. I'm terribly out of practice with my one stroke, so it is extremely simple. And this one I'm just using a white and red and just creating four petals. And then on the other hand, it will be a black and white. I tend to double layer. Um, so I'll put one layer of petal down and then I go over the top again, just gets a slightly deeper color.
And then I'm just doing a second layer of petals. So I layer them over like brickwork. So if there's four in the previous one, I then we'll do three overlapping on those top four. Then coming in with my little stippily brush and creating just like little dotty kind of like pollen in the centre. And then making sure all of that paint is dry, I'm then going to top coat these nails. That red on my hand is paint, I haven't been bleeding everywhere, it does look quite wearing doesn't it, but that's just um, paint. And remember when you do any one stroke, any nail art, anything like that, you always want to double top coat. So I applied one coat, I did a half cure, so 30 seconds, and then I did a second coat and cured for the full 60 seconds. And when they're out the lamp and had a minute or so to cool down, I'm then applying my top coat. Uh, top coat, oh my god, my cuticle oil. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I really love doing these nails. Um, I liked that I pushed myself a little bit and actually did something a little more arty for a change. I also did some matte top coat on the um, shard nails as well, as you can see, just taking off the tacky layer because I really like these frost shards um, with a matte top coat too. So they think they look just, a, it's a different level of shining with them when they're matte. Um, and that's it. So as I said, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope to see you all again soon. I hope you all survived the Christmas rush. I am halfway through it as I voice this over. So I'll see you on the flip side. Even though in all fairness, I'll probably share this video in the new year. So ignore all of that. Hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas and new year. <laughs> and I'll see you all soon. Bye.